So did Boris Johnson expect his general election plan to get such a lukewarm reception? In a moment, we'll hear from the former president of the European Parliament and what he makes of the December the 12th proposal. For the first time, joined by the conservative and veteran Brexiteer Peter Bowen, former conservative MP, now independent, Dominic Grieve, Labour's Emma Denk Code and Liberal Democrat Chuka Amuna. Good evening to you all. Uh, straightforward uh, quiz questions first, uh, Chuka Amuna. Um, you back Boris Johnson's deal? No. Uh, Emma Code, you back Boris Johnson's deal? Absolutely not. Dominic Grieve? No. Peter Bowen? Yeah, I voted for it. You voted for it. Let's go around again. Um, who backs the election plan? I think the problem is nobody trusts this guy. And remember, if we vote to dissolve Parliament, he has absolute carte blanche as to whether or not that election actually happens on the 12th of December. And the key thing for my party is to stop Brexit so altogether. you don't so, back it? Well, let's see the terms which he's offering. But the hang key on, so, so Well, hang on, Kirsty, it's not as simple as you're saying. There are two things here. We want to stop Brexit, and that means, absolutely, if you were to have an election, it must come before any scheduled Brexit day. There's no guarantee he'd do it on the 12th. And secondly, we have to have that extension from the European hang Union on, before on. my he's party... He's saying there would be it. an election on December the 12th. He's not going to mess around with the election date. Goodness me, people are out Christmas shopping. Well, there's no... Look, there is no guarantee, and we don't know whether having right. precipitated that process, we will still be in the European Union at that time. Right. Evan Edgood, do you back Boris Johnson's election plan? Absolutely not. Not at the moment, not with no deal still on the table. We can't possibly agree to that. Um, you know, if, if we know that's off the table, then we will go into And, and how are you going to know that? I'm I am actually is... really a bit confused about this because, you know, if the, uh, the, the Ben Act kicks in, the Act, then you, you go straight to the 31st of January and no deal is off the table. In theory, yes, it, indeed it is. But, um, you know, this, this wouldn't, if we had an election now, it wouldn't be an election. It would be a proxy referendum. And that's the third referendum, not the second, because I remember voting in 1975. So, wait, wait, so hang on, people, so you're not uh, wanting another referendum? Um, not, not on the terms that we have now. We need to actually but, know what the terms would be and what would be on the ballot. So the election wouldn't be an election under any circumstances, we need as far a, as you're concerned? We need, an, we need an election uh, um, when we're ready for it. Uh, we see, deal what I don't understand is that you know, Nick Waters seems to be saying that the EU might not make the decision about the extension tomorrow, so therefore the vote mm -hmm. about whether to back the uh, election would come before the EU decides on an extension. What then? It's an utter mess. We're still in pantomime season, okay. aren't we? You back an election on the 12th of December? N not on these terms, for very good reason. He's playing games. He says, uh, you can have... Uh, you, firstly, you've got to have the election on the 12th of December, and then I will allow you to consider the bill for a restricted period. He could pull that bill at any time he liked. Or by d November the 6th, if you don't have agreement on that, but, what happens to it? Well, well precisely. It's, but it's also a form, of, it's a form of blackmail, a sort of Morton's fork. He's saying... Um, You've got to ha sign up to a, an, a, an election. And in the meantime, in return, I will allow you to consider a piece of legislation for a short period, which actually we all agreed requires, I mean, even Peter might agree, I don't know, rather longer. It's a major piece of constitutional legislation. He has a choice. He can either allow this legislation to go through. He's got the second so reading through. The House can get on with it. We probably need about four weeks for Parliament to deal with it. And it may be it will go through, in which case we'll leave the EU. It may be it but, won't. But neither, neither the Liberal Democrats, nor we understand Labour, are going to back this deal anyway. Oh, I think that's almost certainly so, right. But, but, but wait for a moment. It got through second reading. Mm -hmm. So it's not as if this is a completely dead. It has undoubtedly got some life in it because there was a re willingness by the House, a majority <laughs> of the House of Commons... To vote for it, well, I don't I understand Peter, what he's doing. I want to just stick with you before you come You're talking about these false dilemmas. One other dilemma seems to be the idea that suddenly Theresa May's deal is going to be raised from the dead. Well, I, I, I think that is very speculative. What is true is that if this deal cannot get through, then seeing the House of Commons has been willing to consider some deal, yeah. there are people who are interested right. in seeing if there is some alternative that might work okay. and bring the House together. That's not illegitimate, but I think that's rather different from saying Theresa May's deal is coming back. Peter Bone, clarity here. Do you support the idea of an election on the 12th of December? Yes, I, and I, I'm surprised if my colleagues don't, because this government can't govern. We have a minus 45 majority, we need a government that can govern. So until we, we have a general election and we get a new government, um, 
Parliament is, is sort of in limbo. So, so when you come to Emmerdent, hang on, when you come to Emmerdent, Coe's point, is a no deal dead? Well, the problem what Emma says is, of course, it's impossible for any of us to take no deal off the table because the European Union has to agree. So if we extend to the 31st of January and nothing happened and we want to extend again, if the EU doesn't agree with us, no deal happens. So I, that's, it's impossible it, for us to take I, no I, deal off the very, table. It's a very important point, though, Peter, because if, say, on Monday or some say perhaps tomorrow, the EU say, right, we'll give you the extension mm -hmm. to the 31st of January, uh, why then would you impose all these different conditions if you're so keen for a general election? Why would you not just say, right, OK, well, we've got the extension now, start your five weeks, head to your general election, and everybody can go into that general election safe in the knowledge that that process will not precipitate us crashing out of the European Union without a deal, and then you get your general election. Well, no, no, you, the but... reason for that, and I, I, <clears throat> I think you're on the Liberal Democrats now. The, <laughs> oh, the reason, the, no, 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 serious point. The, the reason for that, and I, I'd actually I'd go along with that, why not, let's get on with it. But I think it was done to encourage the Labour Party to vote for it. But, I mean, after, it, after it, all, it, Emma, Emma Denko, the, the Labour Party has been saying forever and a day, bring it on, bring a general election on, and now we're not actually clear said, what Jeremy Corbyn actually wants. This it, wouldn't be an election, as I said. It would be a third referendum, because we, haven't, we aren't debating the manifesto, we aren't doing any business well, in Parliament. Of course it would be an election. You, you've got, but you, you, you've had a party conference. You'll whip out a manifesto up in five we, minutes. We don't know what the written agreement is in, but we don't know what we're actually voting on. How could we possibly vote I, on something when we don't know what... Is that not because the part of the is. problem is that Labour doesn't know where it actually stands I know where on the stand. idea Certainly of Kensington, leaving the European we Union. Well, we exactly I, don't care. Care. I mean, the problem is as well, you're defending a majority of 20, the smallest in the country. There could be another reason why you're not very keen on an election. No, no, no. I'm very, very but, ready for an election. We campaign all year round, not just on the run up to elections. It, and I'm going to add some notes to, 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 uh, to my majority. Thank you. Sorry, do you, you really don't want further scrutiny of this bill, do you? I mean, why would you? Because you don't want this bill to succeed. You don't want this deal to succeed anyway, so you don't need... Well, look, that we want to stop Brexit altogether, and there are two ways to do that. Either you have a people's vote in this parliament, uh, and the problem we've got at the moment, let's just be absolutely frank about it, mm. is the arithmetic yeah. isn't adding up. No. You know, you've got, you've got most of the Conservative Party, you've got a substantial minority of the Labour Party, and you've got some independent Conservatives who won't vote for a people's vote at the moment. And that is the big problem. So then the question arises, well, how are you actually going to get your people's vote? Now, maybe in a new parliament you have arithmetic but, that gets but there. But isn't it better for the Liberal Democrats to go into an election be absolutely... But, it's not about a people's vote for the Liberal yeah. Democrats. In fact, well, if you're you. fighting an election, you go into an election saying, we want to repeal Article 50. Yes, we'd revoke Article so, 50 if there was a majority Liberal Democrat government. Absolutely. I agree with Peter to this extent that we can't go on going around in circles. And if this legislation, which is currently before the House cannot get through, mm -hmm. then either we've got to find a mechanism for a referendum or there is going to have to be a general election. What would but be what on the we... referendum paper? I, my personal view has always been that the referendum should have the three choices... Oh, of no. <laughs> no. Come on, no, let, let no, me finish. No, no, hang on, let, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> I've always said it, it, could, it should be the Prime Minister's yeah. deal. I would be prepared to consider having no deal on the ballot paper for the sake of getting this referendum and, of course, remain. But actually, as so many people of extreme Brexit views seem to be happy with the Prime Minister's yeah. deal, it might not be necessary uh, to have no deal no, on the ballot it, paper it, it, at all. Now, if we're going to have a second referendum, and I'd be very happy to have a second referendum if the question was Boris Johnson's deal or no deal. The, no. no, the nation has already... I know you don't like this, Dominic, but the, de the nation has already decided we're leaving the EU. And people are saying, it's how you leave the EU. So put the two propositions down, have a referendum on it, I guess even the Prime Minister... Do you think the that? nation is somehow going to leave this all behind? Because then isn't the nation not absolutely fed we up to the back my, teeth? But, we, but even if we leave, we are not solving this problem. Yeah, exactly. We are going to be in the middle of a further crisis over Brexit within six months about whether we crash yeah. out at the end of 2020 mm -hmm. without any future trade agreement... We remain in transition, which is something people like Peter think is appalling, and actually I don't think it's a good idea either. And if a Labour victory, you would so, remain in transition so, for nine months. Yeah. Uh, exactly. And this, is, this issue isn't going to go away. Leaving does not solve the problem. And the difficulty is you can interpret the terms of leaving how you want, and that's <coughs> another good reason 
for having a referendum. But why because don't you just have a general a clear election? No, it's well, a good reason for having a general well, election. Two, two, one, one very good reason for not having a general election. I have a nasty feeling that we will have another hung parliament which is incapable of resolving this issue. But I do accept it's a democratic event. And if we cannot resolve it by other means, we're going to have to have it. But what the government's trying to do on Monday, I'm afraid, is just playing mm. games. And the way it was crafted, mm. suggested to mm. me, it was just Did another you... piece of propaganda and wasn't, in fact, a sincere what, intention of resolving... But what, what about this other possibility, then, that you, you, you don't vote for uh, the election, but you actually vote for a no, vote of no confidence, Emma? Uh, well, we, we could go that way. Whether or not we get um, a majority, I have no idea. But I still think, um, you know, we, we would still be stuck in some kind of limbo then, wouldn't we? We don't know what the um, written agreement is. We don't know on what terms we are addressing the, um, yeah. the, the whole well, issue of Brexit. Well, I don't think if you won the vote of confidence, the Prime Minister would go, and there'd be 14 days when you can try and form uh, what you would, I guess, call a rainbow coalition. So it, it, would, it would stop the Prime Minister and it would stop the Conservative Party you know, in its would, would, it would, Hang on, it just, wouldn't a general election just lance this boil? It would, of course. I That's what we should I, do. I think at the moment there is one thing that we are all agreed on unusually is that we can't carry on like this. You've got a government that can't govern, minus 45 majority, and you've got a parliament that isn't functioning. But the, and we're going to all have to make a decision on Monday yeah. as to what we do but about If you can't carry on like this, you have to do something else. And the only uh, something well, else you can actually do is a general election. However, the <laughs> question is... No, 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 I don't disagree with you. I'm not disagreeing with you, Kirsty. But the problem that the Prime Minister's got is that, unlike his predecessors, there is literally zero trust in him. And so anything he puts forward will have to be watertight and will have to give people like Emma, me and Dominic confidence we will not be crashing out of the European there Union without a deal. There is a big trust issue. There's no, there's no doubt the, about it. Well, that problem. is entirely of the making of the Prime Minister himself thank in you. terms of his behaviour over the last few months he's taken. Well, thank you all very much indeed. because.